Data is important, but not all data is created equal. Today's technology allows us to collect and amass an unprecedented hodgepodge of data. But what's the use of data if they can't be understood and turned into actionable items? In fact, many of us are instantly intimidated by the mere sight of numbers. Our collection of data visualization slides addresses this hurdle with a variety of charts, graphs, tables, and infographic designs that translates numbers into digestible insights. These designs not only help the creators better communicate their message, but also allows viewers to grasp the importance of intricate numerical details. In fact, here's a data point. 65% of people are visual learners, so don't underestimate these graphics. Now, let's have a look at some of these examples. By the way, we are UExec. We create business presentation templates and spreadsheet models to save you hours of work. Follow us to receive weekly business templates and spreadsheet models that will help propel your career forward. Bubble charts rely on the size and or placement of each circle or bubble to illustrate the volume, importance, and evolution of each data point. In this scenario, the bubble chart represents shift in consumer preferences over the years. Each shade of bubble indicates a separate product line. The higher the demand, the further the bubble is from the center. This means that product E has consistently been the least popular one. On the other hand, product A takes the crown by winning the hearts of consumers. Overall, all product lines in this case demonstrate an upward trend and demand over time. Even financial reporting doesn't need to be so cut and dried. For instance, this bubble chart is used to quantify and summarize departmental budget. Large bubbles imply significant budget areas. So even without looking deeply at the numbers, viewers can easily make out budget priorities in just a glance. The chart also communicates changes in budget allocation from year to year. In this case, even though Department C was previously given lots of attention, it's since been demoted into a much less important role. Often this means a pivot in a company's strategic priorities or just a general cut in budget across the board. Nested bubble charts provide a distinct visual with its comparative views of related data points. In the context of ROI analysis for product lines, these nested bubbles offer a snapshot of initial investments versus the amount of revenue that these investments generated. Overlaying nested bubbles on a map can indicate changes in key metrics, such as sales or customer growth across different markets or regions. An example would be to project the sales numbers for each market over time, where each circle's relative size provides immediate insight into performance changes. To help instill its information further, the color of each bubble translates into the percentage of change. In this case, even though the North American market is sizable, it's projected to grow the least in the next decade, possibly due to market maturity or saturation. On the other hand, despite the smaller size of Africa, it shows much higher growth potential for the future. Clustered bubble charts extend this concept as it sorts related data points into coherent groups. This offers a consolidated view of multiple data sets like the performance of each sales regions or key investment areas. By the way, these are just a few of the many data visualization options. You can find more on the template we've created. So feel free to download and customize them to your needs. Contrary to the common belief that mind maps are only used for brainstorming, they can also help organize complex data with their signature visual branches. Take revenue streams as an example. With the total company revenue at its center, managers can then map out different sources of income, like sales from a flagship product line, revenues from digital downloads, subscriptions, or sales from accessory products. Which items contribute the most to the company's bottom line? From there, viewers can explore and understand the origin of each revenue stream in more granular detail, such as the revenue split between newer and previous generations of the main product line, by dollar amount or by percentage. Are consumers chasing the newest gadgets or are they more frugally drawn to the older versions? Continue to zoom in into other revenue streams and more information can be found about digital purchases, subscriptions, and accessory products. Sankey diagrams stand out in how they present the flow of data. It not only shows how values distribute among various nodes, but also their relational dynamics. Where do these numbers come from and where do they funnel into? Unlike the unidirectional approach of most standard graphs, 
Sankey diagrams can be multidirectional. Here is a bar chart that shows sales over time, but it's not the end of it. As sales deliver consistent growth over time, it helps to understand what contributes to this promising performance. This is where the Sankey diagram on the right comes in. By breaking down the most recent sales numbers, we can see that online sales trumps in-store sales by over 50%. As the breadth of the lines of a Sankey diagram intuitively signals volume, it draws distinct paths from a sales channel to illustrate shifting consumer behavior. For those who find the traditional Sankey a bit challenging to design from scratch, here's a simplified alternative that uses straightforward connector lines that offer a similar level of analytical depth. This version simplifies the data into more manageable strands, while still linking sources of funds to how they're eventually used. On a higher note, it also helps to guide stakeholders through the intricacies of a company's financial ecosystem. And remember, all the examples we show in this video, plus many more, can be downloaded and customized with your own data. We are all familiar with certain types of charts that people commonly default to, such as bar charts or line graphs. But effective visual storytelling doesn't have to pick only one chart to do all the heavy lifting. Consider modified or hybrid designs, which integrate features of different chart styles to showcase a variety of metrics that fall within the same topic or enhance the same line of argument. An example of this blended approach is the use of modified donut charts to compare product sales over time. Here, each donut chart acts as a doubled layered gauge so that viewers can see not only annual sales volumes, but also how actual figures measured up against projections. Going beyond piecemeal representations, this hybrid design brings together radar charts with dashboard elements, which highlight a North Pole metric at the top, followed by a table with more detailed numbers and a simplified stacked bar chart to show an overall trend. Here, we have a situation where there is an intimidating number of data points, many of which overlap each other, a typical sight when it comes to a traditional scatter plot. But what draws the eyes here are the shaded areas that emphasize an overarching trend. This way, even without spending a lot of time to examine each number, viewers can still easily pinpoint the trajectory that holds more significance than individual figures. The key takeaway here is not the numbers themselves, but rather the collective meaning of these numbers. From bubble charts and mind maps to Sankey diagrams and creative hybrid designs, there are many ways to make numbers come to life. The clarity provided by effective data visualization is crucial in subsequent decision making. But keep in mind that the best way to present information depends on your audience. While a specialist on the subject might expect all the finer details, a shareholder with little technical knowledge might be more concerned with big picture implications. So. Do you have a favorite way to visualize your data? Leave us a comment so we can all learn together. Thank you so much for watching.